So welcome once again. This is Kevin from Construction Scale Model Imports in Australia today doing a video on the MAN 8x8 TGS dump truck with a Scale Art Commander SA5000 radio. So in the last video we did talk about the truck and the radio itself and the detail about the truck. In this video we are going to talk about the functions and we're going to show you what switches, dials, and joysticks are assigned for. Before we go ahead, I want to appreciate. I want to thank and appreciate all of you who have sent us the questions, emails, and visited the website to buy uh, stuff from our website. So we do appreciate your business. Thank you for that. And as usual, if you have any more questions or emails, please feel free to email us at info at csmi.com.au. There is a link at the bottom of the video. You can also visit that or you can just Google the word C for Charlie, S for Sierra, M for Mother, I for International, which is CSMI. And if you Google the word Australia, you will definitely find us. Try including the word model. So CSMI models and you'll pretty much come up. So let's roll this. So first of all, it's very important uh, to power the radio on. So you've got more control of the model. If you power, not that it's going to happen, but there could be a chance if you model, if you power the model first, the model could take off. So it's good practice. So here is a power switch. The sound is pretty unique when you power it up. And I want you to hear that sound. I'm not sure if you heard that sound, but it's pretty impressive. Sounds like some sound from a science fiction movie. Uh, it is quite uh, unique and impressive. There is a power switch up here uh, underneath the, the steps you need to power that up so let's go ahead and power that now the moment you power that you will see your screen will change and it will actually detect the truck and will give you some information like what is your battery voltage how many amps it's drawing what uh, gear it is in and also shows you the level of the truck which is a dial with the line across it. So as the truck changes its uh, inclination or the angle, that will actually change. I'll try to bring the screen closer so you guys can see. Uh, below that, there are some texts. For example, it tells you about infrared, the kind of lights that you have, parking lights, low beams, high beams, fog lights, rotating beacons, and those are assigned to these switches. Very, very simple. You've got the switches on the left and you actually have the function for what the switches are displaying on the screen. So once you have selected that function, as you can see up here, it pretty much highlights itself. So if you do not know whether you are in a diff lock position or not, have a look at the screen, for example, there you go. So the diff lock has now been highlighted, which means it is actually in function. So I've taken the diff lock uh, off. If I want the rear diff lock, I just go and push the switch in the other way, push it back again, and it's off the rear diff lock. So, very, very simple, very, very uh, good radio. Only thing is, it's pretty heavy radio. It's solid aluminium billet uh, CNC machine. So that's, that's pretty solid, it's a heavy radio. So you need to have um, a hands-free kit. It can be bolted up here with straps. So it's much more easier to control this, uh, this radio. Joysticks. This is complete metal. Uh, you have function one, function two, function three, and then you've got two switches uh, up here. So function one, function two, function three, and function four. So you've got four functions on one joystick. You can customize and align those functions to whatever you want. They can be assigned to anything. So let's rotate this truck so that we can see the lights the light function uh, on this particular model. Now it's going to be hard to squeeze the radio in there. So let me just try to refocus it so we can actually see. So first of all, we'll go through the start of the engine. Start in the horn is based on this particular switch up here. That's the horn. You got the start. And on this particular model, we have the hydraulics assigned on this particular dial up here. So I'm not going to go all the way, I'm just going to bring it down. You 
You don't have to worry about oil pressurizing the system. It's got limit switches on it, so it's pretty easy to um, to let it go. And once it reaches maximum point, bring the dial to zero. Now, the good and the bad thing is this fascia on the front, as you can see, is glass. So it's very reflective and looks pretty impressive. Only thing is you've got to keep it wiping, as you can see. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of marks on it. It's not going to damage the radio. Only thing is when it's nice and clean and shiny, it looks pretty impressive. As you can see, there's a lot of gloss uh, on it. So that was the, the start switch. So we'll go through the, the park lights. There you go. You have the park lights on the top up here. Then we have the low beam up here. Then we have the front fog lights up here. We have the rear fog lights, which you can't see in this particular uh, section because it's the rear of the truck. Then you have the rotating beacon, can't miss that. And you have the hazard lights up here. So, hazard lights off, rotating beacon off, front fog lights off, rear fog lights off, park lights off, and low beam off. So that pretty much summons that. This joystick is for forward and reverse. Up here you have uh, the steering. Let me just see if we have assigned this to something. Yep. So here you have also have your uh, your dipper or your high beam flashing. Right. So there you go. Now this is all we have in this particular uh, video. We will go through the other settings on the diff locks because it's easier to see when the truck is on its side uh, the undercarriage and things like that so it's much more easier uh, to have a look at it at that function there you go the engines off so as usual thank you for watching if you have any more questions please feel free to email us at info at csmi.com.au always happy to answer your questions Thanks for watching.